What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team Stand Up! NBA 2K24 Next Gen! The city official trailer is here. We got a 2 and one when it also covered us so fresh. So clean, clean my team trailer too. You know what I'm saying? Fresh braids on deck ready for this game to drop. You know what I'm saying? Hang time. Don't even play with me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Come on, come on, man. Rate the rate the, rate, rate the braids, man. One out of ten. All right, man. Let's check it out. Let's see what he's talking about. I'm not 2K's bitch, so I will be transparent as usual. I guarantee you, bro. No bush. I don't think nobody probably said nothing negative in the community today. I'll put money on it. Nobody said nothing in the community day. I did not get invited once again. There is like another community day, final and last community day, like last week on Friday or Thursday, man. Everybody played the game. And also, uh, before we continue, I'm pausing. Um, if anybody's not seeing, like, because I know there was like 2K24 gameplay dropped yesterday. You got to be a little bit smarter in the head of the game. You know, Ronald and Mike Wayne is waiting to, like, apply those strikes and everything. Free game to all those other YouTube channels out there. If you was not invited to the community day and it's 2K24 gameplay, if it's not no 2K stuff that's actually from the uh, 2K's page itself, do not upload it. That's how Ronald and Mike Wayne got me back in 2016. That's, like, actually the hidden reason why, you know what I'm saying, I do not fuck with those guys. People just think I just do that just to troll, uh, try to get attention, whatever. Like, no, 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 dude. Like, when, when you do some hated shit like that to try and, like, jeopardize someone's career, you know what I'm saying? So I will always, like, you're, it's, it's going to be forever, you know what I'm saying, type of beef. But anyway, man, uh, just free game, uh, y'all. And also, heads up, I'm not going to be reacting to any of that stuff. If it's not on the 2K's channel itself, you will not see here because they are waiting to strike anybody that did not go to community day and all of that stuff like that. Uh, you have 2K24 footage on your channel or even on live stream and shit like that. So I will not be reacting to it on live stream as well if it's not already actively uploaded on NBA 2K's channel. With that being said, welcome to the all-new city, PS5. Okay, yo, is this GTA? Oh, first of all, I'm going to turn this music down. Y'all ain't going to get me, baby. Y'all ain't getting a dime. You ain't getting 5%. You ain't getting 10%. Shit, K. Okay, so anyway, bro, this is not GTA. Did I just see a beach? Did I just see a... Now, I don't really know how to feel about it, bro. The gameplay has to be on par, bro, and especially the servers. The thing that gets me scared about them making the city bigger and just more detailed and everything, bro, that just means that it's, just, let's be honest, it's going to be more glitchier the first two, three weeks, maybe even month when the game is dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have all these NPCs, like, around the building and everything like that. It looks cool for now, but will it run right when it's time for the game and everything like that? And will we be able to have some faster transportation? Because those go karts are not it. They're too slow. Got them playing volleyball, football. Bro, is that... Y'all have lifeguards and shit? Can you even walk on the beach and stuff? I mean, I guess. Like, I'm not really, like, a fan of, like, the other stuff. Like, bro, I want the gameplay to be... Bro, guys, I want you guys to sit there and picture all of this, okay? So, Ronald, as a grown-ass man turning 40 in a couple of years, went on the game probably with all the options to choose any type of clothes that's going to be released through all 2K24 year, and he chooses a floaty, a rubber duck or a plastic blow-up ducky <laughs> with some shorts and then a Jordan tee. I can't, bro. He just doesn't avoid the uh, cringy. This, okay. So some of the city kind of on and off looks the same as like not the same, but like some of the in, in depth of it. And then the stores look a little bit different. Uh, but when it goes to like you know what I'm saying, the actual city like part, no, no, no. The stores look a little bit different. Like this part right here, this was similar like last year. You know what I'm saying? Like walking around the city, you find a Gatorade rec center and all that types of stuff. I see they always try to take uh, inspiration from NBA ballers. What? They got that signature animation right here? Yo. They actually have a crowd that watches and stuff? The ball taunt? Oh, the crowd, like, swarms the court if you make a game winner or something? I don't like that. would be cool. What the heck? So they storm the court if you win? That's going to cause more raging. But maybe it might be only that court. What the heck? Oh, yeah, yeah, you already know. River City over here, which is Wildcats. Same thing. No switching up. Um, 
This looks cool. I won't even gonna lie to you. Especially if you lit as heck, you know what I'm saying? Off that Gondro, that duck pack. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, this right here. Yeah, this, this I, I like this. Uh, it's just probably one of the more better visual uh, parts in 2K. Like, I, I give this at least the top three parts in 2K. I know, like, NBA 2K16, which we wasn't on because you were following back in the day. We took a break from NBA. After NBA 2K15 was done, we took a break from 2K16. The uh, 2K19, that's when we came back to the 2K community. Um, but, yeah, I, I've seen clips and all that stuff. I know the park had, like, the sunset and the, uh, you know what I'm saying, all those types of, like, favorable parts back in the day. I ain't gonna lie. You have to put this one in there. This looks like something like, all the, like kind of like a mix of Star Wars or, like, yeah, yeah, this is kind of fire. I like this right here. Like, a mix of, like, Star Wars or, like, some, like, OG cartoon show, like, what, what, Kim Possible or something like that, or, uh, I'm trying to think, or Teen Titans or one of those shows like that. Like, it kind of gave me those vibes right there. I like this right here, this court, but will the gameplay be up to par? That's the thing. Is that my man Shakedown? <laughs> hey, man, you ain't a real one, you know, my man Shakedown. That's the man right there. Respect the OGs. Yo, hey, hey, hold on, we're seeing some new hairstyles, I think. Yo, they got the, uh, they got the, uh, hey, Yo, okay, so we need to see the rest of the hairstyles in the game, but this is a good thing. I don't think, did they have this hairstyle last year? If they did, that is self-neck. That, was that LD2K too? The Rise? What is the Rise? Are these new park affiliations? Come for the vibe, stay for the ball. See you in the city. See you on the court. Hey, I mean, I'll give it a so far from what the park is looking like in the city. I'll give it a minor, minor, minor at the lowest atom size W. I'll give it a seven point five out of ten. I'm not gonna give anything higher than that because we haven't played the game. We haven't seen real gameplay of the park and everything like that. We don't know what exploits are gonna be there. Um, you don't know how the servers are gonna hold up. So, um, but with everything else and, and what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. They they have some they have some good detail. Um, it looks like this is only next gen exclusive too. So <laughs> good luck on current gen for anybody that's on it. Um, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a minor W. I like that they didn't keep the same park in the, uh, the exact same city as last year. You know what I'm saying? At least they took the time and put more detail into the game and everything like that on that part. One thing I also meant to state to you guys too. With, if you notice about what 2K kind of does on a natural habit too, it feels like every maybe like three or four 2Ks, it's always the better one. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's put it into perspective. Everybody, now this is what everybody's saying. To me, personally, I prefer 19 over 20, but 20 was pretty good too. 20 was respectfully like the last absolute good, like anybody can gather in a room and say that that was a good 2K. 2K20, you know what I'm saying? That was four years ago if you add it up. All right, 2K24 is coming out. I think, you know what I'm saying? Am I like, that? that's, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it before, maybe on stream or whatever, but I'm actually having, I'm not having the highest expectations hopes, but you can't be surprised if this 2K is really, really good because they make a good game every three to four years, which kind of makes sense. And if you, because I'm a real OG 2K player, I've been playing 2K since 2K5, Ben Wallace on the cover, PS2 and everything like that. Um, and if you really kind of put it in perspective, you know what I'm saying? NBA 2K10 was good. You know what I'm saying? So when, so when the new 2Ks came to the next-gen councils, I think it was like NBA 2K7. Right? Yeah, it was NBA 2K6, actually. So NBA 2K6. It's crazy. NBA 2K7 was actually pretty good. We played the throwback game if you were OG uh, Dirt React supporters all the way back in the uh, day on this channel. Uh, we played 2K7 throwback mode and everything like that. And they had a fire-ass mode, which is the My Career before the My Career mode called 24-7 mode. Uh, which was in 2K5 and in NBA 2K7. 2K7s was the best on that 24-7 mode. All right, so we'll say from NBA 2K7, uh, 2K8, 2K9, 2K10. Remember, every uh, three to four years, you know, when it falls in that three to four year category, 2K10 was actually a very, 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 very great game. You know what I'm saying? They had that draft combine shit. That was a very in-depth detail, I don't, which I don't know. If 2K was smart, you know what I'm saying? They, they want to be stingy and greedy and not uh, providing demos, okay? Why don't you make a draft combine and have people be able to max out their mob players to a certain overall, maybe to like an 89 or 90 overall, so it's not the full 99 by the time the game comes out, but it's at least higher than an 85 maxed out with a game day, you know what I'm saying, when you buy a new build and all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, y'all can make a draft combine, like they had a whole draft combine where it's like you pre-order the game, I don't remember the pricing, I want to say anywhere from like 10 to $30, or, or whatever, how much the full game costs and shit like that on top of that. 
and you were able to play the draft combine and, and, and get the technique of the game and everything down and stuff like that. 2K10 had, um, uh, I believe, online crews and like 5v5 park and all that. It was like the first thing they got their feet wet in there. And then when NBA 2K11 came out, which would have made it four years since 2K7 of the last great 2K, you know what I'm saying? 2K11 is up there with one of the better 2Ks and everything. They had the online crews. That was, I'm sure, I was in 10th grade when that, when that game came out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, nonstop was on that game. 2K11 and your end Call of Duty was great that year. Um, 2K11 on top of that, they had the MJ moments. They had the, um, um, I didn't have my team and everything. It was just mainly for the crews and, and, and everything like that. And the my career mode was very in-depth. And then right after that, next year, bro, complete, complete down here. 2K12, bro, like straight up, like any developer that made that game, I still to this day just want to get into a room with them for one minute and just, bro, scrap with every single one of those devs. Because that was probably the most failure, one of the top five failure video games any company could have just decided to make. 2K12, they took out the, the the cruise mode, which was the most popular thing 2K ever had in their game at that uh, certain given point in time. It was literally basically like uh, the wreck. But you're able to have game chat and all that type of stuff, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But it was just more fun, you know what I'm saying? And anyway, they took that out. They took that out for 2K12, 2K13. So, like, 2K went to literally, like, the Great Depression during those times. And then 2K14 came out when the new systems came out, the PlayStation 4 and the X-Bone, other uh, X-Bone or whatever. And 2K14, that's around the time when I came on YouTube and everything like that. 2K14 was pretty cool. They had a cool blacktop park mode and everything like that. Or, or actually, no, they had a park mode. They had a park mode. So 2K13, I was confused before because 2K13, like the end of the year of 2K13, that's when I came on YouTube, like that August of 2K13, like before 2K14 and next gen was gonna drop and then GTA came out in that same year and everything like that. And 2K14 was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? And then like 2K15 was, ironically, was crazy because 2K really didn't do that type of a streak. 2K14, 2K15, 2K16, and 2K17, back to like four years in a row, 2K was actually very good. And I just feel like maybe they just got burnt out like after 17, because you know, 18, I remember 18 a little bit, I played 18 maybe for about one month, maybe if that, because I remember 2K did invite me to that community day because I like was out the 2K community for like three to four years. You know what I'm saying? I, I had like my IRL vlog arc and all that type of stuff you remember and, and everything. And, you know, I was in that other relationship and, and stuff, not starting anything or whatever. But, you know, I was like, you know, doing like IRL content. So I was like on the game and all that stuff. So, you know, uh, they wanted to get me back kind of in the community. So I just came out the community day. Long story short, 2K18 was the worst probably 2K ever. Uh, that was played, and then 2K19 came out, which was ironic because 2K was only bad for a year, and then 20 was pretty good, and then now 2K has been in that three to four year drought. Bro, I just only feel like it's right that 2K24 is gonna be a mid to good game, bro. I can really, I will really be surprised. If this game doesn't hold expectations, you know what I'm saying? With everything that I just broke down like that, I hope anybody that is listening, like, literally, like, hears me out on that part. Like, I, I'm not trying to sit there and defend 2K. Like, I'm the last person to look for defending. But if you're talking about, like, having a certain expectation, I feel like 2K24, like, out of all the, like, last three years of 2K since 2K20, this is the one to really pay attention to. This is the one to really sit down and really put your energy toward for then um, and, 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 and try to see what they're really talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because they passed that three to four drought mark of them having a bad game. Like, I can really see this game being a potentially, like, better, great, fun experience game. Um, and now, I'm not going to take their word for it, but I did see some people that went to the community day. They said that this 2K24 uh, game is supposed to be uh, as good as Prime Fortnite. And Prime Fortnite, you know, when it first came in in, like, 2018 and stuff like that, how much of an impact that had and everything like that. So, um, you know, we're going to really see what that's going to boil down to, man. I hope that was pretty detailed and everything for you guys to uh, break down. Um, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I can say I'm very excited. And, and, and as you guys know too, uh, I've been saying it and, and, and everything, but um, new uh, project and everything like that. Tape drops September 8th, Walking W Part 2, five plus features on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a total of 14 songs, um, seven, six solo songs, and the rest is features and everything like that. It's going to be the hottest tape slash album, whatever you want to call it, 
um, of the entire, I'm going to give it top five of the year. It's a must listen to. Um, it's, it's a super, 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 super undeniable. You know what I'm saying? Like out of all projects, like I 100% know that this is going to be the one that's going to take me to not only just the next level, but also uh, people are going to like really start to like tune in like on some shit like, okay, like we have to take this guy a little bit more serious. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a superstar YouTuber and a superstar artist and everything like that. Is super confident and everything like that that I'm holding everything to. I'm going to announce it on stream within uh, either today or Friday, you know what I'm saying, so you guys can pre-save it. It drops September. 8th and also it's 100% reactable too so anybody reacts to it um, you will be able to make uh, you know monetize make money it's all that you know shared revenue 50 50 thing and everything like that I don't have to, I wish it was a hundred percent for you guys but I put it on a certain um uh, uh, um uh, 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 distribution uh, 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 part and everything like that uh, called create so you know what I'm saying it, you know it's, it's 50 50 uh, for everybody that takes, but uh, you'll be able to 100% monetize and still make bread and everything. I want everybody to give 100% constructive criticism so that helps me get better and everything like that. And we'll review, you know what I'm saying, everything uh, when it drops that day and everything. And shout out, um, you know, because you know what I'm saying, we, we kind of kind of balancing out like which one we also want to sign to, either kick or uh, rumble and everything like that. But I'm not going to like be disrespectful to Twitch. Twitch, uh, you know what I'm saying, they provided me with having the front page. Uh, next week on Friday at 9 PST, which is West Coast time, by the way. So it'll be like midnight in the East Coast. So I do have the front page on Twitch for just an hour slot and everything like that. So shout out to them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, man, um, I still honestly don't know which one I want to sign. Uh, uh, either stay on Twitch or go to Kick or Rumble and everything like that. Um, but you're still going to be, you know what I'm saying, live streaming day one and everything of the game. And uh, you're, we're going to figure it out and, you know, take you all along for the ride, whichever one we go with, man. But uh, make sure you all mark your calendars, man. September 8th, Walking W Part 2 is dropping the hottest thing hitting the entire music market, man. It's going to shake up the entire music market, I'm trying to tell you. All right, so one thing we did also miss, too. There was a 2K My Team trailer. I did get some crazy serious news that I heard about My Team. Um, that is a huge L. My Team, um, where around the street, where around town, has took out the entire auction block up to this point now whether they decide to put it back in the game I do not know but when I found out about this this was early on in the week that is a huge L 2k you already know 2k probably did that majorly influenced probably by me and everything like that I don't know why 2k would take out the auction block I did see an option that you're able to buy my team it looks like um, from a, po a photo that I seen I wish I could find it but apparently like somebody was in a 2k menu which is actually good you know, I'm not showing it because I don't know if that was actually leaked from the 2k uh, 24 community day itself. I don't want to risk getting like no stripes and shit. Uh, but apparently, like when it was in that main menu screen, you guys could find a photo, or whatever yourself. There was, if you look in the bottom of it, there was an option for you to buy my team. It looks like apparently and VC. So if you're able to buy my team and um or whatever and 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 just like open packs or whatever, but I get, but bro, not having an auction block where you're able to just buy the card itself and you're forcing 2K people. Or, or anybody that hops on a game or whatever to spend money that is extremely selfish and you're not fooling anybody with that bro like you you, you can sit up here and say oh um there's a lot of black marketing uh uh my team being done uh, bro like people still can earn money in regular my team on the game too so how are you gonna buy the card on off you everybody has to risk spending their own my team or vc to hope to get the card which is a stupid, huge L. Um, I'm still going to be on my team, but I would not be surprised if my team in 2K24 has a huge drop, a huge plunge than they've ever seen. Because why would you take out the auction block, bro? Like, you see Madden, they keep the same shit every single year when it comes to the ultimate team, but it adds more stuff into it. You copy every other video game. Why did you take out the auction block? That doesn't make any sense. That's part of the my team mode. It's part... I mean, whether you want to believe it or not, my team in any type of ultimate team mode is like... A junior form of gambling in a way you know what I'm saying so like if you're gonna do something on that on, on, on that type of level you can't half step it like I don't understand like what the drugs you guys are on to do that but whatever we're gonna look at this my team trailer this is gonna be mudded too because it's copyright music um so yep check it out we're gonna be on my team this year we're gonna be actually be on it earlier as usual I know we usually start my team consistently like around like end of October to Thanksgiving but I actually figured out that a lot of you guys like to see how my team looks like when it's like at its like 
beginning stages and stuff like that. Like, because I'm doing it with like Madden right now, and like, you guys are tearing it up with the Ultimate Team, and you know what I'm saying, showing great support on that. So, and I know like my team lasted for 2K. We didn't start too late, but it was pretty later than usual. So they got crossplay uh, my team in, in, in 2K24, which is a minor W, which is great because Madden has the same thing. They said it's faster matchmaking. Yeah, whatever you say, 2K. And um, yeah, that's a W right there. So all you Expo users, I'm going to be going extra harder on you guys. You're an Expo player, I'm going to be an extra toxic. I'm the same way with Madden, Ultimate Team. <laughs> yeah, so I like that right there. I like that it's crossplay on my team and everything. Um, that, that that's that's a W. I feel like they eventually got to do it to where they can play PC too. Um, obviously they're gonna have to make sure they're not playing mods and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this is the new my team mode or no no this is the my team mode where it's regular course. These other courses that they have like the three v three. I don't play those to be honest with you. I wonder what legends are gonna. I mean they're probably gonna, there's really not too much you can do with the legends. Oh hey, I think they do show the photo in. This is probably the leaked photo that was on Twitter. Here it is. Literally what exactly I said. Bingo. Bro, there is no auction block in here, but you can buy a VC in my team, bro. And they have a player market. So what is that supposed to mean? Is that another word for auction block, maybe? Maybe I may have been talking too ahead of myself. But, bro, I think they would just call it the auction. I don't know why they would just... I don't know. You said that they said there's more options than before. It's so funny that they have 2K generic shoes and they don't have the time to put a detail and shit. <laughs> I just really hope too. One thing I can say with the my team, they need to make like the pack opening system faster, bro. That should be taking a little, not forever, but bro, it could be faster. Like, let's all be honest and agree. Like this mode right here, I'm not gonna play in my team. I just play the regular my team mode. All right, you guys seen the two and one? You seen the new 2K24 uh, city? You seen the my team and everything in detail? Will you guys be pre-ordering it? Does this make you jump up and want to pre-order the game right this second? I'm pre-ordering the game the last 24 hours before the game comes out. Yeah, I'm going to be on the game when it comes. You guys know I don't have the copy 2K to invite me or anything like that. So I'm just like you guys and everything like that, man. I got to buy it off the, uh, the system, pre-order it, and it'll be ready for me to play on that Friday or Thursday whenever it drops, bro. Um, but yeah, man, uh, are you guys going to be pre-ordering it today? Does it make you want to pre-order it? I say with everything that we've seen, um, I'll give 2K a solid 7.2 out of 10. We have to see the gameplay. Um, this is going to up the streaming. Well, it always ups the streaming schedule and everything like that. Um, officially back onto that three to five day of stream, uh, slot like that. I want you guys to catch some great vibes. Um, I want you guys to have a, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, great moments. You know what I'm saying? Um, anybody that be clip clipping stuff on TikTok, man, uh, make sure y'all clipping like the best, uh, scenes of the park moments and everything like that. Let's get those 2K19, 2K20 vibes. Um, I'm here to say, uh, 2K24. Uh, not the game, but I'm saying like 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, 24. <laughs> um, that's 100% my year. Look at my eyes on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Um, that is 100% my year. I've already got it locked in and loaded and everything like that. Um, so I'm ready to make it happen, man. Uh, ready to let the work do the talking itself like that. Um, and yeah, man, uh, same squad, same FTC, uh, everything like that. No new niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the same lineup and everything like that. Talk to myself fresh, so clean, clean teammates. You guys know who you are. Everybody is still in the lineup. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Um, you can expect to see them day one. Remember, like, the lineup, uh, you know what I'm saying, fluctuates. You know what I'm saying? I have, like, a, what, 7 to 10 FTC in, 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 in this uh, team squad and everything like that. So, uh, you know, expect to see that and everything like that, man. Um, I'm ready to have some fun, ready to talk some shit, man, and hopefully the game lives up to its expectations, man. Um, hopefully that was very, very detailed for everybody.